Hello and welcome to this presentation. You will learn how Protax Structure version 2026 design Corbel and automate reinforcement detailing. And if this is the first time you have come across our channel, Soft Reason Academy, consider subscribing to stay connected. Let us get started. So let us launch Prota detail module of Prota Structure 2026 version. I will double click on it on my desktop to launch it. So here we go. From here, we are going to be creating a new project. So I click on new option in this provision and then I will have to give it a name as Corbell. All right, so we proceed to select the code template. We'll be considering United Kingdom Euro code for this design. So I click on OK after selecting it. So here we go. We have to start by creating a new drawing. OK, so we use this option. So in this interface now, we need to navigate to the cover option. From here, you see we have cover. I click on it. So in the cover design and detailing property window. From here, this is the model order. So we start from the dimension of the cover. So we have to give it a name. Uh, so this is going to be bearing cover one. Okay, so the cantilever count at default is single, all right? That's so that is why we're having just one projection of the cover right there, okay? But if I select in these provisions, I'm designing for double, so I'll have to make it a double, all right? So it is going to be in both sides of the reinforced concrete column, okay? So for the cover length right here, I'm having 400, so the length of the cover is the distance. In these are uh, the, the distance of the projections. This A, you can see that is the length of the cover. So I'm going to make it 450 for my design. All right. So we have the cover width. The width is just the B part. You can see in the plan view. So this B length is the width. Okay. So this width is going to be uh, 400 right here. So it's going to be 400. Then we proceed. We have uh, the length, which is the AV. The AV length is going to be uh, 250 right here. So we have the cover top height, which is H1. So if you check in this provision, you see H1 right here. So the top height H1 is 450. I'll go by 450 right there. Or uh, we make this 500 right here okay so we proceed we have the cover bottom height which is s2 this provision so this is going to be 230 millimeters okay so the coefficient of a friction is 1.4 right there we go by that then the column sections width and then column section height okay it's 500 by 500 all right, so now I am having since I'm having my cover length to be 450, so the column section I will make it uh 550, all right, by 550. So it's going to be 50 millimeters away from the edge of the reinforced concrete uh, columns. All right, so this is it. All right, so I haven't entered the geometry or the dimensions of the cover. You navigate to the loads provisions. Okay. So once you click on this load, since I'm designing for both sides, I have the load coming from the vertical uh, directions at 6,000, uh, sorry, 600 uh, kilonewton at default, both sides, and then 20 uh, kilonewton as the horizontal load. Okay, so for this particular load, it's going to be 650 for both sides. So that is the load I'm considering, 650, and then for for the horizontal load is going to be 25 kilonewton 
right here yeah, so i'll update that successfully so this is 650 right there okay so having done with the load with the loading i have to now come to these provisions and click on these options right here so in this options we have the material and then the design code so as well you can navigate within any of the design code you wish to use that is available if you fail to select it and then for the material the concrete compressive strength from here i'll be using uh 20 slash 25 uh concrete strength and then for the steel grid i will consider 460 type type 2 right there okay so from there i can be able to choose the reinforcement that i wish to use for the design so it's going to be considering you know over here you have not seen anything like cover right there so you are going to make changes to the columns the first concrete column reinforcement so i'll be taking the minimum of 12 right here and then i'll go by 16 20 and as well 25 i'll get right of 32 so for the links right here i'm having eight so i'll leave that at default okay so i'll click on okay from here i click on okay again so i can choose to apply this to every other member i click on okay so here i have my links i can change the link uh still great from here 460 type 2 and click on the ok options okay so here too will take you to the diameter settings which we have uh, done previously i click on ok options and then you select your code and then come to the reinforcement provisions and then you can see the reinforcement right there but we have not designed yet so you have to click on the update design options from here so this will be updated successfully so you click on update design all right so now after updated the design you have to now check the design result from here so you ensure that all of these requirements have actually uh, passed and then by seeing a green check right here so this is the specimens of the reinforcement arrangement the maximum tension bar we have for the cobble is 25 mm diameter all right and then we also have 12 mm uh, diameter cover due to the load that is coming on the cover successfully so once you have done with this you now navigate to the drawings and reporting so you click on the output so in this output you can be able to show quantity tables in drawings show rebars leader on sections and then also a quantity table into report so you can click to add and click on create report for the cover design so you give the program some seconds to actually uh document and create a report just like this for you so you can see the cover uh design report right here design of concrete structure concrete bridge design and detailed rule so this is the code of practice you use your code 2 for this design you can print this or publish it to pdf or office right here i'll close this window so we'll proceed for the cover drawings you just have to click on the ok options so once you are good with the design okay click on ok options so now you can see the detailed drawings that is being automated in proto detail of proto structure module 2020 uh, six so here is the cover detail drawing and reinforcement arrangement as you can see from here and then over here it also gives us the cover quantity take off like the bar bending schedules so from here you can know the cut length of the reinforcement and as well as the reinforcement diameter all right so now this is uh the detail drawings automated for the cover design we have done successfully so if you want to export these drawings all the way to AutoCAD, you can just use this option of export DWG slash DXF. Select it right there, right click on it and then select export option. So now in these provisions, you can choose the version of, uh, version of AutoCAD you wish to actually export these drawings. So I'll go by 2010 version of AutoCAD, I click on export options and then you just have to give the program some seconds you can see from here this is the drawing we exported successfully i can double click from here so this will open autocad and then i proceed to click on the 
continue opening DWG file and here we go so this is the cover detail drawings and power bending schedule being generated automatically in Prota from Prota structure uh, version 2026 of uh, Prota detail module all right so here we have it in AutoCAD you can just have to put some other things in place and then you are good to go all right so I believe you have learned one or two things on how to design cover using Prota structure 2026 Prota module okay successfully so we are going to be stopping here do not forget to like also subscribe to our channel to stay connected with us and if you want to learn these programs from a to z and understand it as a pro user reach to us through our handles around our channel software academy we attend to you so you are very welcome have a great day and we we'll see you in the next presentations bye for now